Hey guys, so right now I am fishing over on Alberta Lake. As you can see here, I just caught an Atlantic salmon. Or salmon, salmon, salmon. Salmon. Um, I just started fishing. I caught a lot of salmon, but that's the first one today. I'm casting out there about 180 to 100 feet out there and doing the lift and drop. There we go. Let's do the lift and drop. It usually works pretty dang good. I'm using a single spoon, as you can see, for a hook. It's real insane. I'm having some really successful fishing. I'm trying to level up before I can go to St. Kirk's Lake. Let's see if we can get a nice lake trout. Let's just see. Let's just see. Lift to drop. Usually works really well. I'll show you the gear right after this cast that I'm using. Usually get snagged. Ooh, I had a bite. Right now is the beginning of peak time, so. That guy came up, <clears throat> so I'll show you what I'm using real quick. I'm gonna start off with my first rod, which is my uh, I'm actually gonna be using for uh, my uh, brook trout. It is a CCO charger blade, nine foot six. My CCO Omnivolt five thousand. I'm using fifteen pound line, a single spoon. Now I'm going to show you my second setup that I'm using right now, which is my CCO NR Gizzer Sin Foot 10. I'm using my CCO Fireball 6000. My N32 pound line, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Um, that's about it, guys. So I'm actually going to start up a, a private room here. There we go. Get over there and cast down here. Let me turn that up. Okay, let's get fishing. Let this sink. Put that at about three speed. There we go. Let it sink until it hits the bottom. Lift and drop. Sometimes it'll just do that, which actually sometimes attracts the fish. Oops, see that? Something. What is it? So I also use a lift and drop, but I'll show you guys the next cast what I also actually like to do.
There we go. We're on. Ooh, it feels like something good too. Ooh, this feels really nice, guys. No, do not lose this fish because of low lines, which I swear. This feels like a trophy. For sure, trophy. Maybe possibly unique. I mean, this is 30 pound line. It almost has it maxed out. Actually, am I using my other pool? I might be using my other pool, actually. My 15 pound line right now. I think I am. Ooh, ooh. We'll find him on a beast. This is a 30 pound line. Um, well, if it is. My, my correct pull that I'm supposed to be using for these guys, I'm using 30 pound line, so, let's see, so, don't get your guys' hopes up, if it's a, it might be just a regular leg trout. He'll come in sooner or later. Just keep working them. Let me, stand, let me sit up, guys, for this. I'm gonna try this tactic. Let's go, come on, keep it coming. Keep it coming, big guy. Yeah, see the weather some themselves out. Oh, I escaped. Dang. That sucks. Let me see if I was using the correct stuff. No, I was using my charger blade. See, I knew it. Now that explains a lot, guys. What was I using? Was I using this one? Yeah, I was using this one. I was supposed to be using this one. Right here, so, actually, that fish is probably pretty average size. That's why it was, like, taking so long to get in. Well, my other tactic, I like to either put it at a one or a two for this. I prefer a one. Let it sink until it almost hits the bottom. Actually, right about a little bit lower there, and just reel it in very slowly. Works great. Like to stop maybe, maybe get a little bit lower and then do it again. And tell you something maybe. Past 80 or 90, I usually just reel it in quick. Okay, now let's keep doing right here. Do same exact thing. Let it hit the bottom, or let it sink. Go very slow, straight and slow. Like I said, it works great. This is only for usually lake trout. I don't use. Oh, see, we're on. I don't use this uh, strategy for many other, like, fish. This is an average size lake trout. If it's like maybe in a brook. But yeah, it's a lake trout though. There we go. Nice lake trout. Good XP, good money. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I have caught today, which um, I have a lot of money. I caught one northern pike, one lake trout, another lake trout, one Atlantic salmon, salmon. I always say that, salmon. The rest is really lake trout. My biggest one today seems to be this one right here. The last one I just caught, actually. I actually know that my last one. 
Okay, let's catch two more fish. I'm actually gonna switch lures after this last fish. Like I said, reeling nice and slow. Sometimes maybe even get stop for a sec. Filled in nice and slow. Yes, and there's that spot where I usually get snagged. Let's we'll keep filling it. My dinner is ready. It's gonna be ready soon, or I'd make a quicker video, guys, or a longer video, not a quicker video. Cast out. Let's do the same exact thing this time. I was gonna switch baits, I totally forgot. Let's gotta wait. suckers to hit now once you get close maybe you can just let it sink and then go ahead and go again something could still hit it past see something could oh this feels good this feels good that's 30 pound lines lines this feels nice this feels really nice Ooh, it looks nice too. It's like a nice lake. <sighs> Trophy lake trout. See you guys? You can always catch them. Look at the cash and the money you get for these guys. 300, almost basically 300 XP for one fish. Like, that is great. Like, and look how much money I got. $1,312. Nice. Okay, well guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.